Let us now have a brief overview of uh, data masking in SAP HANA 2.0. As we know, SAP HANA provides a comprehensive uh, security framework to help keep our data secure. Uh, in addition to the various authentication uh, mechanisms, uh, single sign-on, and then you have protection at user and role level, uh, authorization management, audit logging, and uh, an encryption capabilities that are already in place. SAP HANA 2.0 now has an additional uh, feature uh, for uh, dynamic data masking. This new native data masking feature changes how data appears in the tables and views and does not modify the underlying data. Because the underlying data remains unchanged, the database can still perform calculations on the masks data. It provides an additional layer of access control that can be applied to views to protect sensitive or confidential data from power users with uh, broad view access. So for example, if you need to protect a column with employee's social security number or credit card information from certain users who may have select privileges on the view or a table or a schema uh, but should not be able to see the sensitive data. Uh, so once the data is masked, only the owner of a particular schema or a table or a view can initially grant the unmasked privilege uh, to other users. So if, we, if a view has any dependencies on another view, the privileges of the owner of the dependent view are also uh, taken into consideration uh, yes, uh, uh, in this feature, in this functionality. Now let us take two examples. Uh, we'll create a table first with the masking, uh, you know, data masking at the creation uh, level, at the time of creation of the table. And then we'll also take an example of masking a data after the table has been created. Okay, so let us use some of the sample examples that I have. So we'll create a table with masking first. Okay, so the thing syntax of the table is create column table, the schema, the table name, the column, the data type of the column, the column length. Okay, this is our second employee ID is our first column. Employee name is a second column, which is of 20 character length. Employees SSN is the third column that we have, which has 11 characters in the length. And then we qualify the table creation with mask because we want to mask the data in this table. And what is the data that we want to mask? The social security number with asterisks, okay? So we have 11 characters, three plus two is five plus four, nine, and then two hyphen, hyphens in between. So you have 11 characters, okay? So this is our table structure. We have a table called EMPL data in the schema SP security with three columns in them. Okay, so let's go and execute it. Okay, so the table was created in the schema SP security, right? So let's go to close this catalog. And if you go to SP security schema, so the table has to be in this. Okay, what is the table name? EMPL data. So let's refresh the schema. So you have the table data here, right? Now 
if you see is there any data in this so yet because we didn't enter any data we don't have anything yet okay but the table structure is created right we created the table so the open table def definition and you will see the table definition okay now let us go and add data to this table so we have three records that we're going to add okay so we have three records you have the insert into the schema name dot the table name values and the values for each of those three columns okay so we have three records like this so let's go and execute the three of them okay now let's see if this table data uh, if the data has been entered in the table or not okay so let's go to open table definition and the data is there now because this user the person who creates the data table or the star object has complete uh, all the privileges on the uh, table to view the data okay now let us go and test this out whether whether the data is really masked or not so in that case what we do is we'll assign this table empl data to sap hana user okay so let us open sap hana user and then go to object privileges and then we are going to assign this object table to SAP HANA user user ID okay so the table that we have is EMPL data okay let's click on okay and let's give them select access okay now let's go and deploy this now let us go to SP HANA user okay now click expand SP HANA user and go into the schema and refresh this because you don't see the table yet let's go and refresh it all right now expand it again I'm going to close this okay you don't want to get confused because that's for sec from system user let's go to SP security tables so you have the table here right now let us open and see how the data looks here now see here that data is masked okay because we we wanted we created a table with the employee security number field uh, security number or column as masked okay and you see the mask character here that is how you see it in the table so how does you know you how do you grant uh, a user access to see the mask data right so any user now if you assign this table with the select privilege they would have this as mask data okay so how do you give them access to view the data right any user to view the data so what SAP has done is along with this masking it has also introduced for the object for it could be a view it could be a table or it could be a schema it has introduced a privilege called unmasked okay so you select two so on the object right which contains your mask data if you want to grant access to view that data you also have to assign this unmasked privilege on the object okay so which means I have to if I want SP HANA user to view the data from that column and social security number column so on that table object I have to give SP HANA user the unmasked privilege okay 
So let's go and deploy this. And let's say refresh this, okay? We are still on SAP HANA, right? Okay, let's close this, right? Okay, let's go to SAP user HANA and then HANA user and then open the table. See, now you can, now the user can see this. All right, so let's go and just toggle this now and say unmasked, remove the unmasked and see if the data is refresh the da data now so data is masked again okay so you can create a table with mask option on a particular column okay so the records in the table will be masked for that particular column will be masked with whatever characters you mask it with okay and if you want someone to have access to uh, or to view that data from that column then to that user when you assign the object you also have to provide or grant them the unmasked uh, privilege on the object okay so this is how you can that data masking works in SAP HANA. So we created a table, right? With masking, right? When at the time of creation of the table. Now let us go and see, we'll create the same table with the same data, but with a different table name. Okay, but without masking, all right. So without masking, you want to do that, let's go and create a table, right? We are creating a table like we normally do, right? So EMP L info is the table that we are creating with the same sets of fields, okay? So let's go and create this. All right, so if you go to catalog, EMPL info, right? Let's go and refresh. So EMPL info is here. Let's open up and definition. So you have the three columns, right? Does it have any data in it yet? No, because we did not insert any data. Okay. All right. Now let's go and add the records to the table. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to add the records. Okay, let's go and check the table now open data so you have the view here right now let us go and assign this table to uh, SP HANA user okay this user all right so open up SP HANA user go to object privileges now let us assign the table SP EMPL info. Okay, and do select. Deploy. Now let us see if the user can see the data. Okay, so refresh. Now we are looking at the table EMPL info, right? Same, we are in SP HANA user EMPL info data preview see the data can the user can see the data right now we don't want this user to see the data right so let us go back to SQL now what we are going to do is we are going to use the alter table SQL statement to hide the data okay so let's go to 
alter user, alter table. So the syntax is alter table, the schema name. Okay, you have to put it in double quotes. Okay, keep this in mind. So the schema name dot the table name. Now what you are saying is you are altering the table EMPL info in the schema SP security and adding masking to the column employee social security number using what kind of characters this character now if you want to change this character something else okay let's see let's change it to you can use any characters you know uh, to mask okay let's see all right so let's go and execute this got executed now can system the the owner of this object can he see this data now let's see he can okay can okay so let's close this okay hana's sp hana user earlier was able to see the data right so let's close this now you go back again to sp hana user and this time open the data preview now and you see the data has been masked with the characters that you gave in the alter table statement okay now if you want this user to see the data or any user to see the data on that object grant the unmasked privilege to the user okay save all right now let's go on here and refresh now the user can see the data okay so the point here is when you create a table or a view you have to use the masking uh, option and the column name if, uh, for which you know you want to uh, mask the data for and then you can use any character you want to mask the information in that particular column okay so this was a brief uh, introduction to data masking how data masking works in hana 2.0 so we did this example on a table but you could create views i know and mask views uh, and you can have joins and then do masking on the resulting data and you can uh, write you know you can have dynamic uh, data masking also and by you know in which you can you, know, you can use uh, create uh, procedures store procedures for doing the masking task for you okay so we just took a simple example of masking data in a table